at 530 with a cold case that has plagued the Brownsburg community, Brownstown community for 51 years. All wondering what happened to Mike Sewell and what happened the night he went missing when a fire claimed the lives of two other teens. Finally, cold case investigators say they have cracked this case. Our Rachel Cross explains. I didn't really think I would ever know until I died what happened to my brother. Half a century spent waiting, hoping for answers. Finally, Linda Pack can say she knows. <sighs> hmm. I don't even know how to put it into words. Uh, unbelievable, uh, happy, bunch of emotions all at once. Her 16-year-old brother, Michael Sewell, went missing December 18th, 1971. He'd been camping with his friends, Stanley Robinson and Jerry Autry. The night before, a fire broke out at the Brownstown cabin they'd been staying in. Lieutenant Adam Nicholson with the Jackson County Sheriff's Department says the investigation determined Autry and Robinson had died. Other witnesses that had been at the cabin that night had said that he, he was also camping. So Mike Sewell had also been camping with uh, Jerry Autry and Stanley Robinson. Um, but the investigators had already left the scene and pretty much concluded that there was just the remains of two individuals. Uh, but Mike Sewell had never been seen or heard of since. With no answers as to Mike's whereabouts, Linda says dozens of people searched the area. He was never found. We didn't get to have a service for him. We didn't. We put a memorial plaque down for him, but there's nothing in it. We, the only thing my mom could do, she got a picture of him and lit candles. That's all we got for him. And then we just had to learn to live with it. And live with it they did for the next 50 years. Then last June, cold case investigators exhumed the bodies of Robinson and Autry in their remains sent to an anthropologist. When she finally sent her report that was scientific certainty that there was three subjects within the two caskets. Mike had been there all along. News Lieutenant Nicholson couldn't wait to share with Linda. It's, it's hard to explain really, I mean, how just to know that you're giving someone inf information that is, is life changing and it's information about something that happened before I was even born. So uh, it's, it's just a, it's a great feeling to know how happy that they are to know that they finally have the answers that they've been wanting. After 51 years of wondering what happened to Mike, finally, for her family, for herself, a sense of relief. I'm just glad I, I got to be alive long enough that I got to know the truth. In Jackson County, Rachel Krause, 13 News.